Hey, what's up guys? It's Doug from BuyMeAnIPhone.com reporting to you right after the iPad 2 launch event. We've got some really exciting news coming to you about the new iPad 2 and you're going to get your sources right here. First, I'd like to thank Gadget for doing all the pictures. They did the play-by-play. -play. We saw that on Gadget.com to see the launch live. Uh, first thing we saw debuted is the new A5 dual-core processor. It's going to offer two times faster CPU and a nine times faster graphics engine. So that's going to be really awesome for some of the new apps coming out. We've also seen that they've added a gyroscope to the iPad, which we've seen with the iPod Touch and iPhone 4. And it's also the coolest feature I've seen so far. It's gone from 13.4 millimeters down to 8.8 .8 millimeters, which is going to be thinner than the iPhone 4. So that's going to be really cool. It's down to 1.3 pounds. Some of the biggest news we've seen is that the iPad is now offered in white. We've seen leaks of this for about the last two weeks that it's going to have a white bezel on front and sure enough that is true. You can get it in white or black. You're also going to be able to get this on AT&T or Verizon. We're also seeing the same 10 hour battery life that the iPad 1 had, which is an amazing battery. And it's also going to stay at the same pricing, which is great, guys. That's $499 for a 16 gig, $599 for the 32, or $699 for the 64. And if you want to add 3G service in either Verizon or AT&T, add another $129 to that price tag, which still comes up cheaper than most tablets that are out there. Now this is all going to be available on March the 11th. It looks like there is going to be no pre-orders at this point in time. I've been searching the Apple Store and it's just March 11th is when it comes out. You can pre-order on March 11th for fast shipping or you can go and pick it up in the store. It's going to be available in 26 countries by March the 25th, so that's really cool. Another thing is that they've offered some really cool accessories that have come out for the iPad 2. Let's take a look now. The first thing we've seen is an HDMI out cable that offers a mirrored display up to 1080p. It also charges your iPad at the same time that you do the 1080 out. It's got auto rotation built into it, so I guess you're going to see that on the screen. And you're going to see that cable for $39. Something else we've seen cool is smart cover cases. Now with the first iPad, they did offer a really cool folio, but this time they did not want to cover up their beautiful design job said, so they're doing smart covers cases, which is actually a flap that's going to cover the front of your iPad. It's got an auto wake and auto sleep. So when you close it, it actually turns off the iPad. When you open it, it automatically wakes it up. It's held in place by magnets, which looked really cool. That helps to auto align it. It adds minimal weight and thickness. It's got a microfiber lined inside to clean the screen. It's available in polyurethane or leather. We're going to see five colors and it's also going to be easy to remove. You're going to pay $39 for the polyurethane or $69 for the leather. So what's new with iOS 4.3? Well, the first thing we're going to see is that it's got an enhanced Safari performance there with the Nitro JavaScript engine, which is going to keep up with that A5 dual core processor. We're also going to see that the auto rotation lock on the top is going to come back. So you can either use that little lock switch as a mute or an auto rotation lock. Something I'm really excited about is the iTunes air sharing over Wi-Fi. You can access your iTunes library from your device wirelessly over Wi-Fi to access all your iTunes songs. So that's going to be really cool. And on the iPhone 4, we're finally going to see it added as a hotspot. That's only going to be for the iPhone 4, not your 3GS or 3G. So only on the iPhone 4 will it be a hotspot. Now, because of the new A5 dual core processor and how fast things are, we've also seen cameras put on the iPad 2, which we all knew was going to happen front and rear. So with the cameras, they've added some really cool apps in the App Store like Photo Booth, and that's going to be, you know, manipulating pictures just the same way you've seen it on the Mac for years. You can take multiple pictures. It looks really cool. And also FaceTime. You're going to be able to FaceTime any device that has FaceTime. You can FaceTime from your iPad 2 to the iPhone 4. You can FaceTime from your iPad 2 to your Mac and back and forth or iPad 2 to another iPad 2. This is all going to be available on March 11th. That's iOS 4.3. Jobs came out and said they got a bunch of new apps ready for the iPad 2 because now they got that faster processor, these apps are going to be able to keep up with it. And the number one thing we saw was iMovie for the iPad. And this is great, guys, for us bloggers and video makers. You can basically edit on the fly with iMovie for your iPad. And I'm super psyched about this. It's going to have precision clips, precision editing, multi-track audio, new themes, airplay to Apple TV. It's going to be export and high def. 50 new sound effects. You're going to be able to share to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, iReports, iTunes, or the camera roll. This is all available on March the 11th, again for $4.99. Now, if you've already bought it for the iPhone 4, yes, you will probably have to buy it again. I don't think it's going to be an update. They didn't say specifically, but I have a feeling you'll be paying that $5 price tag again. Another cool app we saw was GarageBand, and this was before we wrapped it up. The last thing we saw was the GarageBand, and if you guys are music lovers out there, and some of you are, GarageBand looks really cool again. It's going to have 250 loops on the app. It's also got 8-track recording. This is huge for you recording guys because 
Back in the day, I remember recording on four tracks, and they, this has got an eight track recording. You can plug your guitar directly in and use your iPad as like an amp, or you can use some of their other touchpad instruments that are already on there. Um, you're gonna see smart instruments, which means anyone can now play the guitar, the drums, and it looked really cool, guys, a touchpad for the key, piano. You can just slide your hand across, and it's supposed to go to the other keys. So we're looking like a really cool new app. Again, this has got a $5.99 price tag as well. Drops March 11th when iOS comes out in iPad 2. All right, guys, so 2010 was the year of the iPad. They said 2011 is gonna build on an exceptional year. You've seen 15 million iPads sold in 2010, and I think we're gonna see just as many with the price being the exact same. It is gonna be great. We've seen a lot of copycats, a lot of competitors out there, but nothing's gonna be like the iPad. So I know I'm gonna get mine on March 11th. Like I said, no pre-orders as of yet. You guys are gonna be able to get yours on March 11th as well. Stay tuned to the channel for a lot more content, guys. Thanks for watching, Mr. WD50, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode.